What's good? It's your boy Tab Money, and today I'm going to talk about Blizzard saying you don't own the ownership of their games. And I'm going to give you the clear definition of that and why they say that. Now, if you don't know by now, Diablo 4 is finally on Game Pass. Now, when it comes to me, it's only a few people that I see walking around. It depends on how, it depends what type of server I'm in, but most of the time, I only see like at least a few people. Not a whole bunch of people, but at least a few people. You know what I'm saying? But Blizzard also came out with a statement that they gave they, they give you license to this game. You know what I'm saying? Hold on yours. Now, you got to understand this. Diablo 4, World of Warcraft, even Call of Duty, majority of Blizzard games that are live service games, you're only supposed to be licensed to that game because it's a live service game. It's not a single player game. So when it comes to a live service game, that live service game like Street Fighter 6, I got a license to play that. You know what I'm saying? Whole nine yards. They can easily ban me if they wanted to, but I got a license to play that. That's a live service game. When it comes to Diablo 4, I have a license to play this. This is a Diablo game. And not only that, but I'm going to become a Diablo content creator. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to play either Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. One of those two, and I'm going to bring commentary into that video and explain why I am becoming a Diablo content creator. <clears throat> because when it comes to Call of Duty... Overwatch, I, you know, you know I play Overwatch. Even Rainbow Six. <clears throat> when it comes to these first-person shooters, you know, it gives me anxiety and stuff when people just do what they do in multiplayer and death, team deathmatch and stuff like that. Like I follow this guy called Marshall. No commentary. He is very good at playing uh, Warzone. I mean, so damn good to the point where I couldn't even, I can't even do that with my Xbox controller. So, the thing about it is, when I play Diablo 4, you know what I'm saying, I feel home. See, when you play video games, it's supposed to help you to escape the real world. I mean, that's the whole point of playing video games, is to escape the real world. Street Fighter 6 came out first. I got hooked on Street Fighter 6 because of the ability to create avatars and stuff. Whole nine yards. You know what I'm saying, I created my family. I still got my family on there. But... At the same time, I'm not really good at fighting games. Just like I ain't good with first-person shooter games when it comes to team deathmatch, I'm definitely not good with fighting games when it comes to versing someone. So basically what I'm trying to say is like I'm already at near the end of the war tour mode, but that's even more difficult fighting the the, 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 the ops on, on the tournament thing with, um, with JP. So even though I was enjoying Street Fighter 6, I realized that, you know, even though I love fighting games, I love spectating. And that's why I was coming out with Avatar Battle and stuff, and I kind of pissed off, you know, other people because they, they don't want me to, I didn't have a license to glorify the Avatar Battle, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there are people on YouTube that's doing that, but they probably got the rights to do that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have the rights to uh, spectate Avatar Battle and put it on YouTube, but I was one of the first people that was doing that. You know what I'm saying? And that just led to banning me from spectating an Avatar battle. And even arcade matches. You know, sometimes it's low, so slow. Whole nine yards. So, the whole thing about it is, you know, I, I knew I was not going to be stuck on Street Fighter. I mean, I'll play War of Tora, but Battle Hub is where the place to be. But even Battle Hub, the connection is so terrible. I just can't spectate in Battle Hub. So, basically, you know, you know, Xbox gave me a discount for Diablo 4. I'm like, you know, I might as well cop this. When I first played Diablo 4, my mind was just completely blown. Because if you if you go through my history of my videos on my channel, I do got a Santanic book collection, and I do got a book that's based upon Lilith. And believe it or not, but Lilith was Adam's first wife before she multiplied herself and became de became a demon, became the mother of demons. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, yards, but Lilith actually is a real being. You know what I'm saying? But it's a multitude of her, but... She's actually a real being. She was Adam's first wife. You know what I'm saying? So when I first had, you know, you can see Lilith on the screen. When Lilith came into the picture, I was just like, I was just so hooked on everything she was saying about, you know, human beings in general, that being the center is a part of our nature, stuff like that. But no, not just because of that, but I've always been into angels and demons for a long time. Way before the angels, uh, angels and demon movie by, uh, Dan Brown, you know what I'm saying? The angel demon that the whole, that started the whole the Numenati's uh, expectation word, the word of it. But I've always been fascinated with angels and demons, particularly fallen angels and demons, you know what I'm saying? Fallen angels and demons. Because when it comes to the heavenly angels, we can't get in contact with them. The only angels you can get in contact with are the fallen angels, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to new age or metaphysical practices. 
So basically what I'm trying to say is, is that Blizzard is right for telling you you don't own the live service game because it's a live service game. Like if you see right here, this is, you know, that's me on the left with the red hair and the red beard. That's my wife next to me. And those are my two kids. You know what I'm saying? Home not yards. Now here's the thing. I own my avatar self, but when it comes to my wife, or you can say I own, I own my wife and my two kids' avatars as well. But uh, in reality, though, you know what I'm saying? I would like them to be governed by AI in any source, but Diablo is not nowhere near Final Fantasy Online when it comes to that point. I don't know if you can add your creative characters as NPCs to fight with you. But even though I, even though I got Final Fantasy Online, you know, that game is only a game you can hang out in because at the same time, you know, you got to, it's just like Diablo, you gotta, but, you know, Final Fantasy Online is a good game, but at the same time, it's not my cup of, when it comes to Diablo, Diablo fits me because I've always been into, you know, you could say Satanism, Luciferianism, or anything, but I'm a hoodoo practitioner, but I do got connections to black magic or anything like that, and because of that, it's what draw me in deep into the Diablo series, you know, the franchise, you know what I'm saying, like, right now, I do got a Battle.net, uh, account and i do got all the diablo series uh save in my wish list beside diablo immortal but the rest of diablo series i gotta save in my wish list so basically what i'm gonna do is i can't play diablo one on xbox but i gotta play it on pc so and also i got a lot of diablo books saving my wish list so basically well, i know you i know you're wondering yes i am getting deep into the lore of diablo because I always been into angels and demons when it comes to the concept of the, of them two uh being uh two races uh spiritual beings and stuff like that but when I created my family as you can see and my wife posted to represent I'm in there from the mommy movie from 2017 cuz you know believe it or not but my father angel wife she told me she take that image but now I realize why she told me that cuz she went if when the yellow 4 came out I don't know how I pop up, but you know, I made her look exactly like I'm in that boy. Well, not exactly, but with the skin tone and marks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, my kids, they got my skin color and everything else. But what I'm trying to say is, is that this is my family right here that I created in Diablo 4. And since I only got a license to play Diablo 4, the main thing I really want to say is, is that I'm fine having a license of playing Diablo 4. I mean, as long as I can get to play myself, my wife, and my two kids, you know, I, I do spend time with, with, not just with myself, with my th three, my, my two kids and my wife as well. So you can say it's like a role-playing thing when I play by myself, especially when I play on the console. Like, now I got all the Diablo franchises download, download now just in my block uh, series that's supposed to be my white one. So when I get done playing it downstairs, if I come in my room and feel like playing it again, you know, it's just like when Fortnite first came out. When Fortnite first came out, people was addicted to it. That's how I am toward Diablo. And me being Diablo content creator and creating my own family. And I know you wonder, do you got parents in here? No. Uh, a Nazareth and Lilith are fine being our parents. Both my wife and my children's parents. You, I only need them to ask my parents in the Diablo universe. So there's no point having parents if Nazareth and Lilith are our parents. So all I need is my wife and my two kids and that's it. Hold out yards. So that's one thing I want to say. That's one I just want to put my two cents in. You know what I'm saying? Hold out yards. I know about the sweet baby ink thing. I, I really can't say anything about it. I mean, this we, it's part of the fourth industrial revolution. I mean, the main thing is you, we can't do nothing about the sweet baby ink thing. I mean, I have no comment about that. I don't know why they like that, but hey, I guess what goes around comes around. I guess I'm not trying to say it in a smart way, but what I'm trying to say is that we we enter in a whole different era. We in the age of Aquarius. And the age of Aquarius is about to be full and bloom, but oh, not yards. So, you know, when it really comes down to it, I'm fine, you know, having a license to play Diablo 4 and also play Diablo 3 and play Diablo 2 and soon Diablo 1 as well. You know what I'm saying? Oh, not yards. You got to understand, you know what I'm saying? Diablo's not meant for everybody. I mean, I knew that the lobby was not going to be crowded with people because, you know, Diablo it means demon in Spanish, so. But it's your boy Tab, man. That's all I want to say, though, man. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So I am going to become a Diablo content creator. There's more going to say in the Diablo gameplay. So stay tuned. So peace.